What's going on? It's Chi from Chi First. I wanted to do a quick video to show you all how to pull a quick agent list from Realtor.com. It's real simple with a couple of tools. I'll show you how to do it right now. So the first thing we're going to do is to go to Realtor.com, the main screen here, and go to this section that's called Find Realtors. In that section, you can type in your city. I'm going to do Charlotte, North Carolina. Don't put an agent name here. Just hit the search button. Now what you see is you'll have lots of agents that come up. What I like to do is go into the sort by section and you can search by the highest ratings, most recent activity, most recommendations, most for all more, most for sale listings, most sold listings. Now this could be helpful if you want an agent who's pretty active. You could do something like the most sold is listings. And from there, what you can do is, and I'm going to show you an extension that I use called the instant data scraper. Now, before I get into that, we're going to go into the Chrome web store. The Chrome web store is where you can pick up extensions. And this is where you can find the instant data scraper, right? Instant data scraper. So what you're going to want to do is it's going to, it'll say, add this to your Chrome. Mine is already there. So it says that, and it gives you the little Pokemon ball. I love the little Pokemon ball. This thing has great reviews all around. It's a great little app. So you do that. We're going to go back to realtor.com here. And what you'll do now is you'll click on your little Pokemon ball up here. Wait for a moment. And if you see this red line here, let me get this out of the way on your screen. There's now a red highlighted line around where the realtors are. <clears throat> That's important because sometimes it doesn't go around this section. Sometimes it'll go around here. It, it, these are called tables. If it doesn't go around here, you're going to need to come into your instant data scraper and try another table and that will move it around. And you can see that it moves around to different tables until I get it back there. Right now, what you'll see is it has the agent name. It's got some kind of strange thing here, but that's basically name, their number and their company. Now, a lot of times it will also have many other things here. I just get rid of these other rows because we don't need those. We just need these things. And you may not even want this row. Really, you might only just want the names and numbers, and that's fine too. I like to keep the company name in my CRM. Um, you, you may not like that. <clears throat> but from there, it says download data or locate the next to crawl multiple pages. So what it's asking you is to find the next button here. It wants to know where the next button is so it can basically start crawling. What crawling means is that it will pull all this data from this particular page and then it will go hit the next button and go to the next one and crawl and pull more data. So my next button is already highlighted because I've done this before. It seems to remember. So, um, but you're going to want to click that next button and then hit start crawling. Now I'm going to click onto the screen here so you can see what it does. It's just going to keep scrolling. It's going to go through this one. It's pulling all those numbers and it skips to the next one. I'm not pushing any buttons. My hands are off the, the wheel right now. Um, but right here, you'll see that we're adding names here as it goes. It continues to add names and numbers. After this is finished, you can then go and stop the crawling or you can export a CSV file. You can stop crawling if you're, if you've gotten enough, maybe you only want the first few pages or you want all of them. There's you can wait for it to go through all of them. That's fine too.
I'm going to wait until it goes through all the people who have properties for sale. Those are the people's the people who I really want for my search here. Once I start seeing zeros or, or blank spaces in the for sale sign, that's when I'm going to stop. Okay, I'm going to stop crawling now. And then I'm going to pull my list here. And rather than open up the CSV file, I just kind of show you, oh, and it kept this one row for me. I must have not deleted a row, but as you can see, we can delete that row in, in uh, Google Sheets, which is what I'd like to use. But what I would do then from here is I would put full name here. I would put phone here and I'd put company here. And that would be my list. Uh, further, I would probably split the names up and there's a there's an, uh, another little extension I use for Google Sheets to split the names by first, middle and last, which is really cool as well. But I, I'm not going to show that on this particular video. All right. Well, I hope that helps. This has been Chi for Chi First. Appreciate it.